Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 48 CCL Playoffs Chalice, whatever you want to call it. Um, we've got Talk 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 and his Chorfs versus Dazzle Storm and his Skaven. And it feels like the Skaven are a big fav favourite here, I would say. They've got, they've got, you know, five really good players and a couple of bench. And the Chorfs have got not great blockers, not great bulls. They do have a Vampire Hobo. Um, strength 4 Agfo, which is fun, isn't it? Got a decent ball carrier, I guess. And I guess you know, they've still got Chorfs, right? They've still got lots of mighty blow. Who knows? I was going to enter that tournament though at the weekend, and I was going to call my team on the, on the Quadrex. <laughs> but um, thinking about it, doing 5 idiots is much better anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, anyone can do that, can't they? They're not great chores, though. Like, you can do that with Rookie. Rookie uh, Kislev can just... Can just make two instant removals. Sorry to break it to Dio and uh, initiates of his cult, but uh, Blood Bowl is a dice game. <laughs> and, you know... It is what it is. Yeah, but I only want to do one of them to The data does not support your assertion. <laughs> I know it. I know it's a shocking assessment, but yeah, it is a dice game. This uh, he, he's straight and he's exposing all of his good players instantly. Gets him down, follows through. Doesn't follow! You're giving up a hit on your fucking. on this fucking guy! And you're not gonna. Oh, it's so we can get through. Oh. Le porteur risque le plaquage. C'est le genre de situation que j'adore. Okay, I'm. I'm not sure about this. When I say I'm not sure about this, I'm pretty sure that was terrible. Yeah, instant, instant chain free. Instant hit on him. This was weird. Like, is he trying to set up for the wizard next turn? He doesn't have any good chores to retaliate. But, um, you know, he can still roll dice. <laughs> Guess we're going to get the wizard next turn. No, he's not move three. Pow. Pretty nice. I mean, this is a pretty good turn from Talk 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 here, wasn't it? I still think it was. Oh wow, Wrestle's really good there. Yeah, he whizzed this turn. No. I think you whiz. You're already in with like all your gutters, right? All your gutters are already committed to this fight. Like there's a gaping hole in the top. These two are here, these two are here. I think you are. I think you go for the whiz there. Retaliate, oh, very good. I think this was a definite wizard turn and a big mistake from Razzle tonight, wizard. And in fact, get get take pull one got it back instead of going on. Like that was a huge threat turn, wasn't there? Like that's a real strange decision. Real strange decision to not go. Like, once you've already played the rest of the half how you have, like, do you know what I mean? I'm not really a big fan of a turn two wizard. But then I also wouldn't have ploughed everybody forward like this as well. So I think once you do that, then you take the wizard, right? Probably should have moved this bull here. 
before he did that, in case of quads. Because he's going to move him there next. <laughs> and he could have just moved him there first. It's funny, isn't it, the, like, the basic ordering errors that people get wrong in Chalice. The pinnacle of Blood Bowl, as Johnny Five says. Um, it is funny. The sort of things you would say to somebody in Rebel Rookie League to not do. <laughs> and people do them even in Chalice. In many ways, people almost make less mistakes like that in Blitz Pit, right? Because that's well, that was my advice for, for Blitz Pit. It was, you know, to just do the like, do the safe moves like that that you just, you know, that are just definitely right. You know, because oftentimes people want to make the Blitz and see if they can or whatever and then maybe move them to a different square, things like that. But because you haven't got the time in Blitz Pit, it kind of makes you play more solidly overall sometimes. Oh, well, there's a big Kaz. Big Kaz, maybe the best chalk blocker? Stand firm, guard, mighty blow. I only move three, though. I guess the claw might is maybe better. Like, not so much in this matchup. But... Oh, this guy, this guy's. The... God, yeah, this guy's better than this guy. Interesting defense. Get a gutter punched. Don't get in the way at all. <laughs> I think the play was to blitz this gutter though. And then come around here. I mean, the, the overall standard in Blitz Pit is high, yeah. genuinely. Oh, he's got a clean way through there anyway. Oh, okay. Like, honestly, with like the qualification and the invites, the, it's pretty uh, Blitz Pit is, you know, less competitive. Blitz Pit pretty much always been high quality in China, I would say, overall. Okay, I'm going for the ball. Again, I quite like the fireball. Like, just sheer numbers is pretty sick, isn't it? But I guess he has blotch and sure hands, so it's not an easy... It's not an easy one. And this one isn't even there, ready to get in. Like, that's who you want to get in, isn't it? Like, six. I didn't have one. Oh, he's going for the scatter. Risky if there's a catch here. Oh, but he's got edge five sure hands. Okay, so... Okay, so... Why are, you, why are you blocking with him? Aren't you handing off to him? I guess not. I guess this is the safer play, isn't it? And then if it fails... It's safer. So that was, that, that was more solid, I guess. Just scaving a generally shitloads. Oh, he's going for the punt. Okay, now he's got three players and get it, but mm, this is pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I agree, JFI. Like the game the game is already not designed anyway, right? <laughs> the game is already just like wow. Kaz and Apple fail huge. Huge. The game was like never really designed to be a competitive game and then like the BB Rules Commission tried to make it a bit more competitive. But it was never meant to be originally, I guess. And then what semblance of competitiveness there is starts to break down, doesn't it? As the teams get higher, the TV gets higher, and teams get crazier. I would have just kept it. I, I just like keeping the ball. When, you, when you've got an Arch 5 bludger and stuff, I like just keeping it on them. <laughs> but some people love punting, don't they? Yeah, exactly, J5, yeah. But, you know, there's an argument that 
Blood Bowl should be designed for online, right? Because because of your exact point, right? Of taking 12 years to get there. They should maybe just design it for online and like fuck the fuck the people who play in real life because way more games are played online than in real life, aren't they? So maybe that like all the rules are based around small leagues, small tabletop leagues, but they probably shouldn't be. The, the rules should probably and again like there's not that much designing going on and there's like there's no uh, well no that that's that that's catering to small eight man leagues again. And that's what it's meant for, JFI. So that the mates don't headbutt you in the face when you're up with the 2000 TV now. That's actually the thing. Like, the, the rules have always been aimed at. Yeah, that is who buys the games. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But they're not really. <laughs> the rules aren't a selling point for the people who buy the models, right? The models are. Dreadnoughts have always been amongst the top selling 40k models, and the rules have almost always been shit. There was literally one Grey Knight Dreadnought that was any ever any good. Grey Knight Dreadnoughts with uh, with auto cannons. There's been one, and I guess there's been like new some new Ford World stuff recently, but like Dreadnoughts were just always shit. And then. Uh, but they always were top sellers because they just fucking look cool. Exactly, yeah, they look cool as fuck. So they always sold. They always sold great. No, no one really cares about the rules. The redraft, well, the, first of all, incest aside, uh, there's no redraft in Blood Bowl 3 because they haven't implemented it and have no plans to implement it. But the redraft isn't made for TV blood. It's so that if you've got a league with your mates and a new player joins, he won't be that far behind. Yeah, exactly, J5. Like the 40k rules could just be literally you, you hold them and you go pew 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 and daka 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 <laughs> and it's about the same. That's about as tactically complex as 40k. Shoot las cannons at tanks and bolters at men. That was the table leg Wanga said that when uh, when he was about 18 and I was about 20 and uh, and it's true that is about as deep. That is about as deep as 40k gets. And some people can't even grasp it. Some people can't even grasp that that's, that's as deep as 40k gets. And they, they, they shoot their las cannons at the men. <laughs> and they shoot their bolters at the tanks. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's not, there's no plans for redraft in Blood Bowl 3. The rules aren't that bad, but it's just by chance shtick, isn't it? It's just by chance that, like, the turnover mechanic was great, wasn't it, right? The turnover mechanic is is the gold in the, uh, in Blood Bowl. And, like, obviously all the, the fluff and everything was great as well. Is he, is it? Okay, he's blitzing. The only thing. Good job it wasn't the graphics. <laughs> Unless you like your eyes bleeding. If you like your eyes bleeding, you'll be a great fan of Blood Bowl 3. This, this couldn't be a more obvious bait, could it? Surely, surely it won't be falling for here. Surely, nobody could fall for this bait. Oh yeah, no, they shouldn't give, they shouldn't give Cyanide the flexibility. But then, you know, Blood Bowl haven't, like, Games Workshop haven't done anything good either, so like, no one has. What they need, what they need, right, is they need to cho choose somebody who plays Blood Bowl and streams Blood Bowl and knows everything about Blood Bowl and then get him to, like, make some decisions. That would be the best thing. Just quietly. 
<laughs> Dickheads. <laughs> he'd be better than he'd be better than them, wouldn't he? Just not as good as me. But yeah, he lives in Nottingham, doesn't he? So, sure, why not? It'd be a lot better than them, like, like you know, as much as like that's the thing as well. Like nobody agrees with anybody's vision of Blood Bowl, you know. Like that's the thing. Literally nobody, like you know, like Space Cadet's new version. Nobody's gonna think, oh, that's brilliant. Well, some people will, but like, there's not gonna be a consensus on it being good and stuff. Oh, pals him. Huge. But like, there's never going to be a consensus. But it's going to be better than what it is for sure. Yeah. So like, you know, if you, if you found out that like, you know, I'm, I shouldn't I shouldn't say Rick because everyone would love it if Rick did it. <laughs> uh, if say Dio had made a new rules set. For Blood Bowl. Loads of people would be like, oh, this is a fucking joke, why, why the hell should he have done it, you know? Loads of people would be like that. Or any, like anybody, so like, it, that, that's the problem that you would have if you did give it to one person. That everyone else would be like, ooh. <laughs> But it would still be better than what, what's happening. It would definitely be better than what's happening. Which is... You know... The problem is paying somebody, I guess. But I'd do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I would do loads of things for free. I would help Cyanide with anything they wanted for free. Like, I just wanted to be good. And it's just not being good <laughs> at the moment. Like, fuck's sake, the default setups. Like, just sort that out right now. Like, it would take five minutes. It would just literally take five minutes to sort out the default setups. <laughs> you know. Like, fuck's sake. Just literally go chevrons. You could even have a little tooltip. This is good for stopping fast scores. Rule of five. This is good for protecting your best players. You know, backline. Do this if they've only got one turn to score. And there you go, you've got three sets for every team. It would take like, it would take five minutes. And instead they have these fucking idiotic things like, you know, whatever. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, they all call them like stupid things like the Iron Curtain and stuff, don't they? It's fucking idiotic. Yeah, Death March. The fucking Dwarf Lord. <laughs> Definitely no Dwarf Lord setups. <laughs> Yeah, like, they're so dumb, the default setups. Like, Jesus. They just needed somebody... They just needed to talk to anybody who'd played Blood Bowl before. Surely anybody except, like, fucking Plasmoid and, and the people... And Dord, the people they did talk to. Surely anybody would just say... Chevron's rule of five. That's all you need. <laughs> Tom Schnitz. <laughs> oh well, Rikes for Walter Mason. What you need is. 
one you need is that. Hey! Hey! Glorious plugging there. Set that one up. <laughs> exactly all done, yeah. Exactly. I want to fang everyone in plays not in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's crazy. Like I, I, it's, like, I know it's not that important, the default setups, but it, it kind of is, right? Because it's what new players are going to click on, isn't it? And like... And I guess as long as you've sold it to somebody, you don't care what they do. But you should, and like that's the great thing about loot boxes and everything, isn't it? And like you know, <laughs> like it is a great thing, obviously for the people. People like it, right? Because people and people like loot boxes. At the end of the day, customers like loot boxes. Developers really like loot boxes, right? So they're definitely a good thing. Simple as that. And uh, it encourages them to like make good games, doesn't it? Because they want to keep keep bleeding people from. For cash, so it actually encourages them to make good games and stuff. And yeah, it's for new guys. Exactly, yeah. So, so while it, it like on the face of it, it's it's kind of it's kind of pointless the default setups. But yeah, for new players, they're definitely going to use the default setups. I know for for sure that new players have used the default setups because they were the default setups when they were new. So. But I guess it doesn't matter if I just I guess that just doesn't matter to Cyanide. But it, it I think it should. I think it should. I think they should care. But I guess they don't. Just make shine it up nice for the trailer and then hope that tricks people into buying it. Why well, they should care, shouldn't they? Anyway, there's been a game been happening for a while. Um, get the assist in for your strength four player. <laughs> Always a good idea. No, I guess it was so he's based in case he took skulls, right? Because he hasn't got block, so it was a one nine cover. <laughs> yes, backyard door door. Yeah, <laughs> yes, the uh, the bonehead podcast, and like that's another thing. Like that's another thing where a lot of new players will be looking at, it, and lots of people recommend bonehead podcast to new players, and it's like those setup guides are not something anybody should be looking at. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> Nobody should be doing any of those setups. Well, maybe maybe there's like one of them is like Chevron's just normal, but most of them are terrible. Like literally illegal setups. That was probably the best guy. That was probably the best setup was the illegal one because at least you can't use it. <laughs> that by default made it the best Bonehead Comp podcast defense. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I mean, there were some good things in the, in the beta last time, weren't there? With like saving your form, saving your own formations, but and like saving your own team builds. It's like if they could up, if they could make all of that a bit better, it'd be pretty good. Speak of the devil. Hello, <laughs> hello, Andy Devil. Krista should do a Kickstarter of the license. Uh, uh, just saying, literally just said, if uh, if you were in charge of Blood Bowl, rather than Games Workshop, I'd be I'd be quite happy. <laughs> Even if I didn't agree with everything, at least uh, 
At least, you, at least you'd be like, you know, you'd know something and would be trying. <laughs> Instead of what we have now, which is, you know, I guess people who don't know anything and don't, you know, we get like, they get like, maybe they only get paid minimum wage or whatever, but. This is a bit fucked up, isn't it? Surfs would give SPP. They do, don't they, in this one? If you do, do they give SPP if you get the air uh, pressed and muffled? Is that Surfs giving SPP? Point 0.1 SPP for KO. Path of Exile Star C. I think they could have done. They could. Have, they could actually have like different seasons. That are different. Like they could literally have like you know like uh, a thousand to. No, I'm not. I, it was a ball ache to sign up. It was a fucking ball ache to sign up. So I just didn't bother. <laughs> also, five idiots is on. Hopefully, so better to be free for five idiots. Maybe if maybe if the prize money had been a grand, not a hundred. Oh, there we go. He found the 2D on the ball. What a shocker. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Helenies. I said, I mean, obviously, like, that wasn't possible for the CCL admins, was it? Like, do you know what I mean? But I think if, you know, Cyanide, again, would care about making a good game, then um, then that's something they could do, isn't it? I loved SPPs for fouls when I when I played in 1994. Stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised too, Jeff. <laughs> This has been a bit of a tangent, hasn't it? And like something's happened in this game, but I lost interest a while ago. It looks like Talk 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 and Dazzlestorm have lost interest too, to be honest. <laughs> I did yeah, mad skills. I was I was pretty good when I was two to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like nothing's really seems to have happened for a long time. I guess Dazzle's had some people banged out. Yeah, he's taken a bunch of cars. And he's just been trying to stay alive on defense. I guess I guess Talk Talk Talk's played it well, right? To keep the balls both balls relevant. Tackles spread out. No, oh! he's gone to the Artemis school of dodging. Oh, peaked was the worst. Peaked was the absolute fucking worst. Oh my god. Bad habits as well, you just lose a reroll. A blockless dodge! It was, yeah, yeah, he had wrestled, didn't he? If he'd had block, that dodge would have been a lot better. Wow, this is interesting, isn't it? Looks like the Chorf's. Uh can take it over time now. If they can if they can pick it up. And remember to protect the ball a bit. <laughs> What's
What's this guy? Oh, he's just going to foul, yeah, obviously. Lovely foul. Stomp him in the nuts. Looking actually quite a big favourite now, talk, talk, talk. If he wins the toss anyway, if he loses the toss, I guess they just try and score in like two turns. Well, wonder if that was worth it. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I didn't say it was easy, but like, <laughs> they could try, couldn't they? Like it, it's still a game if if the if the rats win the toss, this, it's still a game. Maybe, but if they lose the toss, it's over. Don't say it's over. Defending the ball is super easy. Yeah, Bogey, start of this uh, start of this stream was arts game. Crazy, crazy game. Jugan out. Okay, so just bang it in and see if you win the toss. Right, they've taken nothing the choice. There is a call. There were no blocker dodges in there. I think everyone in this team would block. I guess some of the skinks would have made blockless dodges. Didn't notice them. Okay, the rats lost the toss. So, three, six, seven players. Like, they could have scored with seven players, couldn't they? It wouldn't have been easy, but they could have done it. The fact that this guy just needs to stand one, you know, get one square in and get some clear for him. And he's got edge six. Like, he could definitely have scored in two. But, um... I have to look forward to that on YouTube. Well, if, you, if, you, if you're looking forward to it on YouTube, you should definitely watch the Twitch VOD. Because it'll take a flipping while to catch up to all the YouTubes. I tell you. Yeah, this looks easy now, doesn't it? Probably, uh, probably put the block guy on to the rest. Nah, I guess the rest is the same as block, isn't it? I'd probably put the block over to the rest of the here. Yeah. The block's a little bit better, isn't it? Like, he's, he hasn't, they haven't all got wrestle. So, while it's mostly the same, it's a little bit better. I guess he's got the wrestle. Oh, he's got Juggernaut, so it's definitely better than Block. Yeah, yeah he's got a Juggernaut. I want to see them. I mean, he was. I mean, he was. He, he, you know, he got some. He got some bad dice. He got some good dice as well. Didn't he? But uh, yeah, things happened. Things happened that were <laughs> that were pretty funny. From it being an Artemis match <laughs> and giving his opinions on certain things. What happened was pretty funny. That's good. That's good ball, isn't it? It's a, it's a dice game. Oh, baby, straight in for the gutter foul. <laughs> Yeah, maybe the DP is alright then. If, like, cause I guess the setup was already made, wasn't it? So I guess you can you can plan on following that cut every turn. Now. Yeah, well. 
Ooh. And that's pretty much over, isn't it? It's not technically over, as Elliot would love to tell us. But, um... Wow, not hitting the gutter. What a mad ass. This guy can't level either. Oh, because he, he was trying to free the ball to hand off to him. That's what he was doing. And it would have been a blockless block. And it's not over yet. It, like, it genuinely isn't over, I guess, with one reroll. But yeah, he really wants to be able to hand off to that ball, doesn't he? Imagine if you got the cars. Handing off to that warrior is okay. Might even be better to hand off to the warrior than the boss. Yeah, if you get a car on a block, you should try. The problem is he needs he needs to take this guy out before he can, right? That's why I would have blitzed him <laughs> anyway, even if even if he wanted to free him. You need to get rid of this guy and this guy because he's the two recovery guys. So you need to foul you need to blitz him and foul him. Yeah, he, he, he can't he can't go for the handoff. Like he he just wants him up there to potentially go for the handoff. But he really has to take like take these out completely. Unless he's Rick. L'équipe forme une cage autour du ballon. Pas bête comme tactique. Yeah, he's definitely just going to stall it and try and try and try to remove the edge five and the edge six, and then make like a big layered net to stop them dodging through the one that's left. Is it really reasonable to go with the ball to the Boy, howdy. Yeah, this, this, guy, this guy should have been here, shouldn't he? And then it would have been a 3D uphill both ways. Now you can surf this one. Should definitely try. Doesn't. Should have hundred percent tried to surf him. Oh, you could have used him to surf him. Oh, you can use him to surf him. Okay, yeah, this is this is good. Yeah, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Use him to surf him. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's that's better than surfing him because that that was the shit gutter anyway. I didn't realise it was the shit gutter. So this is definitely better. Use him to surf the good cutter. Wait, what? I guess making it for you guys was good. Hey, what? What the fuck are you doing? He's not even surfing him. May just surf him. Oh god. What a disaster. What a disaster. He could just surf this guy. And instead fouls and does nothing he gets sent off. Flip me. Yeah, to me, I guess not that fun for the rats. And he gets the surf anyway. Oh, what a wuss. What a wuss. Doesn't even go for the ball handoff. Outrageous. I am Dimmy. Do you want to join in? The champ. Oh, baby. 
Oh, baby. The champ. Right. Well, there you go. 28 AV breaks. Unbelievable. Um, Fuck off, Demi. <laughs> congratulations. Talk, 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 talk. Commiserations. Uh, Razzlestorm. I mean, it just is what it is, isn't it? They got banged out. They got they got the one up and they got banged out. Um, happens sometimes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'm in cargo bay. And stay fantastic.